hi good morning everyone here yeah, i want to take this opportunity to wish everyone happy new year 2021 okay this is what the usual dtf printer we are using the last time i used it is in 31st december 2020 in last thursday and today i plan to print something now we facing the print head clock issue so this is very common for me because i have a solution Later, I will show you the step-by-step -step how to do the maintenance. A lot of people, another frequent question I receive is, a lot of people will ask me that this printer, what type of ink it was using? Okay, so I can say that uh, this printer, they are using pigment-based ink. Okay, but please bear in mind is, this pigment ink base is totally different from the what the previous pigment ink we used to print document or print photo. This is a special formula for back frame purpose only. Uh, so people will ask me, what is a pigment based ink? Pigment based ink is used solid particle of uh, pigment powder suspend in the ink itself to transfer the color. So maybe the term is a bit too technical. Uh, let me show you the example. Yeah, uh, from this hot chocolate ring, I can simulate what is called pigment ink. You can see you now, I uh, this is a hot chocolate. I just um, mix it. Okay, after that, a while, you can see there is two layer. There is two layer. So this is what we mean the solid particle. If like the white ink always white clot because you see. Uh, for a while already, the heavy solid particle they will sink at the bottom. So this is why the our ink tank, our ink tank here, if we don't use for one or two days, the white also will separate two sections. The heavy solid particle will go to the bottom of the ink tank. Here I show you some the daily maintenance I use. Okay, every day before I start do the printing, as usual, just I show you that the heavy particle white ink will sink at the bottom there. So usually before I start printing, this is how I will do. I will take, take this one and shake it, shake, shake it well, shake it well. Let the ink mix uh, properly back again. Okay, so I will pull back. So the ink inside here is. We can soft easily. We can shake every day. But the main problem is the ink inside the print head damper there because we cannot shake it like what just now I show you. Because the ink inside the damper also the heavy particle will sink uh, at the bottom and block the print head. So this is why we have the clock issue, the clock print head issue. Let me show you how I using stringer to do the daily maintenance okay firstly i take out the cover of the print head here first but be careful don't fall the screw so we take out this cover take out this cover put aside now here the damper so the one two three third and fourth is the white ink so usually this is the two thing i need to do so i use a small scraper and plug the thing but be careful, huh? just take out this one. Ah, you, you can see. You, you can see. You can see the, the ink. The heavy particle white ink already sunk at the bottom. So this is what the, the thing block. Block the print head. Okay. So let so firstly what you can do is you shake it well first. Shake it well first. Shake it well first. Okay. Ah. Then I use this stringer. Then we pump, pump the ink. Let the new ink come in. Let the new ink come in to the damper. So don't throw away the ink. We just put back to the tank only. So we just use the put back at the tank only. Okay. When finish, this one pull back. We just pull back this one the damper. So we just pull back. Uh, remember press down until click. Okay. Now we do the 
the next damper, the fourth one. Okay, same. We just take out the. We just take out the damper. Remember, you can see. So same. So this is how I do. I shake. I shake it well. Shake it well. Then I'm using the stringer to pump, get the new ink to the damper. Uh, I mean, this type of process we need to practice, lah. Okay, so we pump. Then see, we just put back to ink tank. So this is a uh, because if let's say we use print uh heckling, yes, I could also can solve, but waste a lot of ink. Okay, so this is how I did. Okay, now it's the uh, same way as just now uh, as the first damper. How we put back the this one. Yeah, finish. Click back. Okay, make sure everything is in organized back. So I put the cover back. Is the cover? Okay. So after that, we screw back the cover. Make sure it's tightened. Okay. We just uh, close back the ink tank. Okay, make sure don't spill all the ink. Okay, put this one back. Okay, then on the power, uh, on the power back. Then do the press the water icon that to do the head cleaning for one time. Uh, usually after I do the daily maintenance, I personally, I love to print my old t-shirt label but I using only white ink only. So this is what we can see that all my white ink is print perfectly. At least I know the print head no more clock before I start to continue to print my color image. Okay, hope everyone know how, now how to solve this issue.